That's Jolene Thompson. She was just on board the Pride. They had 40 halibut, 15 yellowtail, and a white sea bass. Here are some secrets. For the yellowtail, it was a three-quarter ounce slider, 40-pound fluorocarbon, a 6-0 to 7-0 J-hook, and one live squid and one dead squid to catch those yellows. The halibut, they were in 20 to 25 feet of water. You are right on the beach fishing. Reverse dropper loop, four-ounce torpedo sinker, a 2-0 hook, a nose hook sardine work. Best of all, with 30-pound fluoro, Wait for the rod to load up. She said, exercise lots of patience. Thank you so much, Jolene, and good luck, everybody. <laughs> hey, good morning, my friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California here. This beautiful Tuesday morning where there is a light rain falling right now. It's kind of triste, sad, which we would say when we describe this kind of weather in Spanish, but it's another beautiful day as far as I'm concerned. That was some extraordinary halibut fishing that we led in with because it just seems to get better and better and better, and we're going to get into that with you all here today. We're going to cover the nighttime bite last night. What happened to the bluefin tuna? Are those big ones still around? Some bluefin pushing 200 pounds and beyond that. They've been biting a little bit, and of course, we'll cover everything in between. You know what time it is, my friends. It is time for the morning briefing. Good morning. Delicious. Good morning, you guys. It's great to be with you. If you don't mind, hit that like button. Please, it helps us so much. You guys are great about that. Share this video with a friend, and that really helps us a lot. Subscribe, tick the bell, and you'll be notified when there is new content. It is great to be with you all. We are leaving on board the Amigo two-day trip tomorrow night. Be prepared for halibut, white sea bass, that kind of fishing. Blue fan tuna fishing could turn on. You want to bring that gear also. Need you at 22nd Street Landing, 6 to 6.30. As close to that as you can get there. Now, I'm going to tell you straight up, if the Apollo gets in late from their previous day's trip, we're probably not going to leave till 9. But if they happen to get it done early and they're in early, we're out of there. We want to get out as soon as possible. 6 p.m. at the landing, if you can. If not, just drop me a line. Let me know what your status is. I'll be contacting you each here today. Be prepared for halibut. And you saw the lead in. Jolene Thompson gave you a lot of great tackle tips there. So you know exactly what to do. All right, let's get into it, my friends. And man, what a beautiful day full of promise because this is albacore weather. If this was not an albacore kind of omen, there's nothing else that would be like this because those are the kinds of years where you wonder if you're ever gonna see the sun when you're offshore fishing. You're on the beach, it's hot, say like July-ish, and you're burning up and you get on the boat, you don't bring a jacket and you're like freezing to death offshore. Man, it has all of those kinds of symptoms. It feels like that to me. All right, let's get into it. First of all, one more thing I want to get with you. Isaac Parcell is a great member of the Freeman Adventure family. He's such a great and giving guy. He's seen that Michael Limon, now that's a kid that was having a little bit of academic problems, not really that bad, but wasn't doing that great in school. And then Grandpa said, hey, you want to go fishing? You better do better in school. Michael wrote essays. He's improved his academics. He's done so well. He comes down to 22nd Street Landing, spends time with us. Isaac Parcell saw that, saw that he was doing good, uh, doing well in school, and he wanted to reward him. He got in touch with his grandpa, Dan Lightfoot, and gave him a beautiful 40-pound outfit with a Torium 16. That's the kind of people we love to have around us. Isaac, you are number one. Congratulations, Michael. That is good stuff. All right, last night, Blue Pin Tuna Fishing. Man, I'll tell you right now, it was terrible. It was really terrible. Slow, 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 slow. There's a few guys that had some fish, but overall, give me the overall picture of two areas that were fished down the Baja Coast out towards San Clemente Island, which just was uncooperative, and that has been what has been going on here recently. It's just been uncooperative. One of these days, that light switch is going to go on, or Albacore will be our salvation. All right, I'll stop that on. But I'm telling you right now, it was a tough night. Now, there's still fish around, and as I say, these things are so volatile, they can change from day to day, from hour to hour. In fact, I've talked to boys that are on top of that big bluefin tuna that the full day boats have been on. There's been other guys on it also, 
and they've been doing pretty good at times. Now, not a lot of fish, but they're really, really big fish. So if you happen to be jumping on a boat in San Diego right now, you definitely have to bring a two-speed reel with 100, 130 pounds on it because while there's not a lot of fish being taken, the ones that are being taken are gigantic, beautiful, big bluefin tuna. Hopefully that is going to settle in, but the nighttime bite last night was poor. You still need to be bringing anywhere from a 350, 300 SK jig works really good, but some nights you're fishing a 425 gram jig. Keep that in mind, and when that night bite kicks back on, you'll be in shape and ready to go. Some overnight trips and some even multi-day trips. Uh, New Loan was on a three-day trip, 14 bluefin, 27 yellowtail. The Aztec three-day trip, 17 bluefin tuna. Liberty had two bluefin tuna, both about 160 pounds. Yesterday, they are a full-day boat to San Diego. Full-day boat leaves in the morning, comes back in the evening. Three bluefin tuna. So there you have it, my friends. A little bit slow in that neck of the woods. We'll continue to watch it. Hopefully, it's going to kick into here. Man, you talk about halibut fishing. A guy by the name of Alex Saran, great guy, takes his kids fishing, loves to get the kids out in the great outdoors, and he said, Phil, you got to get out of that studio. Quit doing the morphing creaming. You got to get out to the channel. Oh, it's because we slaughtered the halibut today. And they had an extraordinary halibut day. Alex, thanks for thinking of me. Good fishing to you and the kids. That was really lovely of you to share that with me. Other guys are all over these flatties. And I'm going to start with the halibut because it has been so incredible. And you look at the pride. Jolene Thompson, our very own, was on that trip. She's another great Freeman Adventure family member. 41 halibut, 16 yellowtail, and a white sea bass. It doesn't get much better than that. We continue to see big scores just like that. 25 halibut on board the Freedom. Incidentally, they are out catching a few flatties as we speak right now early. We'll get an update from them a little bit later in the day. But the Freedom is on those fish, and that is really great news. Hopefully, that's going to continue to head in the right direction. And as we told you right up front, the tackle tip up front is what you want to do to fish these halibut. Sometimes you'll get in even shallow water, you won't need that four ounce, but in most cases, you're going to need the exact tackle that Jolene laid out for you in the very beginning, in my voice, of course. All right, so those halibut in that shallow water really biting well, and we just keep seeing it. Don't forget, fluoro is necessary, and you want to be going with the OpsonUSA.com. www.OpsonUSA.com. Put in FA at checkout, and that will do it for you. Jolene, one thing that I want to emphasize with you, besides what she said, but said be patient, let the rod load up. Don't swing too early on those halibut. Let them eat the bait. It takes a little while. All right, another great guy with a wonderful family. Anthony Amalfitano was up in the Channel Island. He was on board the Mirage, and he said, Phil, this is out of control. It is so good. And you can see by the smile on Anthony's face just how good they did. 27 halibut up there. Aloha Spirit, 13 halibut. Coral Sea, Santa Barbara, 13 halibut. Sea Biscuit, 7 halibut. Some guys just had a few, but there's a lot of good scores. Endeavor, all those guys up there out of Ventura Harbor, sport fishing have been there. Good. Island Spirit's been all over the fish. 805-676-3474. Incidentally, don't forget, kids fish free 12 years and under on Sundays on board the California, the old Matt Wall. So you'd be wise to take advantage of that. Of course, man, we are really looking forward to our Apollo trip. This is the best halibut fishing I think I've ever seen since I've been on this earth. And that's a lot of years, let me tell you. It is phenomenal. It is really, really good. I'm wondering if somebody's gonna crank out, I mean, one of those monster 50, pushing 60 pound flatties one of these days. That would not shock me one bit at all. There's also some decent yellowtail action going on. Native Sun with 15 yellows at Catalina Island. Nice hit for Aaron Graham and the Native Sun. Those guys have been doing really good. Marcos Garcia was on the boat the other day and had a ball with his grandson. And now more yellow starting to show up for Sue. Also getting in on this kind of action. You know, it seems like it's an every other day kind of thing. But for the most part, there has been some really good fishing going on. The Blackfish, a yacht out of Davies Lock in Newport Beach. 38 yellows. And that's the six guys 
That's some pretty good shooting. Freelance Davies Locker, Newport Beach. Eight, Yellowtail. Nice hit for them also. So there's some forkies running around, and that is really starting to look better and better and better. And hopefully it is going to continue to impress. Now, rock fishing's been good. John Ho, he's a fantastic guy fishing down out of San Diego on the Dolphin on a regular basis. Such a nice man. Loves the sport of fishing. Spreads the word everywhere. He's one heck of a great guy. Had some great rock fish down in San Diego. And rock fishing in this cold water has been very, very good. It's been excellent. You know, now, calm down, everybody. In case you're worried about the bluefin, worried about everything else, it's water camp. It really is. Yesterday, we had those thresher sharks biting full speed on up here. Remember, we showed you those guys that were catching the thresher sharks. That's very late. I mean, that normally starts getting going in you know, April, like that. And now it's at its apex right now. Everything is late because fish don't really have a calendar. They are pretty much coming in on water temperature. And our water is very cold, remains that way this year. You're seeing more and more halibut cold water stuff. You're, seeing, you're gonna see even better white sea that's We've had market squid all year long. That is all cold water. And that, I believe, is what is keeping this pipe so inconsistent. Just keep your fingers crossed, things are gonna kick into gear. I guarantee you that. All right, so we'll continue to watch this for you very, very closely. There's some good rock fishing for all the local guys, Channel Islands, everybody else. It's going very, very well. We'll watch that blue fin. Tuna bite today, as I said, we're already talking to boys that are on the area. Those full day boats are rolling up on it here shortly. We'll see how that goes and don't get lulled into a state of complacency. You still need to bring the heavy string if you are going fishing down in San Diego. There are some big, beautiful blue fin tuna. Have a great day, everybody. I can't thank you enough for spending time with us. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, tick that bell, because it means so much to us, and we deeply appreciate all you do for Friedman Adventures. Our growth this past week has been incredible, and we owe it all to you. Have a great day, and I hope to see you really, really soon.